How Y'all Dickheads Doing It is I, once again, Dick Record, coming to you live from the studio in New York City. I've been putting this off for quite a while, but I'm going to be finally starting. Now that I've uh, rectified all the issues, I hope, um, that I had in this custom bifold wallet that I'm going to be making for a friend for their birthday, and also because of other things. Um, but if you're new to the channel, you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. And more importantly, come over to twitch.tv slash dickrecord. Link in the description where you can catch me streaming video games, leathercraft, and other sort of nonsense every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. I tried cutting the majority of the pieces out last night. So, you know, like I cut these parts out, right? And I just have these two massive pieces left over. I cut the portions of leather out already. I'm gonna set those aside. I should have set these all aside, actually. Um, we're gonna do these parts though in a much heavier, I think this is five to six. So let's get that started. Then I could put that stuff away. How are you doing, by the way, Reaper? How's your day been? It's a weird crease going down here, so I'm going to try to avoid using that portion for this. Boom, boom, boom. Be good if I had my tools out. No, Summer. Go around. Go around here. Come this way. All right, she's not interested now. She go Nanky. All right, she goes Nanky now. Um, cat's a little, sometimes a little crazy. Other fellow cat heads will know the struggle. The struggle. The struggle. Hmm. I should actually use this portion because there's a crease over there. Leather being a natural material will have like various imperfections, right? So we have to avoid areas where there look to be like issues on the skin. Or at least you try to, you know. You can if you want to, like call them out and, and actually draw attention to them. But there are times that I choose not to. Um I remember seeing a leather crafter actually purposely make a um what's it called a wallet that showed off the um the branding a cattle received you know over one uh during its lifetime and it was just like this number it's like a serial number or maybe it was just a a number like a you know like your number seven hundred and thirty two let's say okay but yeah yeah I remember seeing that on a steer um rather not a steer on a uh on one of these things I cut this out. I should do both pieces, that way I can, um, hmm, I'm not getting the full use of this hide. This must have been stored funny. Will uh, this work out if I bend it the other way? No. Okay. Let me just cut this piece out then, for the time being. Soup. Glasses. Glasses. So, it's Friday, St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing green so nobody can pinch me. If you try to pinch me, you're going to jail. I've already talked it talked it over with John Twitch. He's like, oh yeah, we'll put to get we'll put anybody in jail if they try to illegally pinch you on St. Patrick's Day if you're wearing green. So, you've been warned. You have been warned. Um, and some of you may be asking, why aren't you just like doing the cuts as they are? And it's like, this is actually harder to work with when you have to flop around a big old piece of leather. 
Um, and especially if you're doing like very, very deliberate, um, and measured pieces, you kind of want them, you want there to be as little difficulty as possible when you're cutting out your deliberate pieces. Um, little sliver of leather there. Work on that. All right, so we did that part, now we got to do this one. Okay, yeah, this piece is okay. Close this up. Probably should have strop that. I, I've been learning that uh, it's imperative to strop like all the time. All the time. Like, are you going to use this thing? Maybe you should strop it beforehand, you know? Um, left and right, all the time. All the goddamn time. It's insane. It's actually insane. I mean, like, I understand the reasoning behind it, but, like, holy shit. My god. I was even introduced to the concept of stropping the... Stropping the, um, the chisels, the stitching chisels, before, you, you know, using them. And was, in fact informed that uh if they're if they're black stitching chisels they're likely painted and you should probably sand that off because the paint can catch so i didn't get a chance to actually do that but luckily i have these other stitching chisels that are not painted they're just silver or rather they're supposedly stainless they're not stainless though they're not actually stainless so that'll be of concern sometime in the future probably All right. Um, there we go. Ah, there's um, there's been a lot of reviews for Resident Evil Four recently, and apparently, that game is fantastic. Just on on the review copies that have gone out there, like Capcom has apparently been like super duper proud of their work, and they sent out advanced copies already to like you know, media and personalities. And apparently it's like, yeah, no, nah, this is it, guys. So that's that's gonna be fun. You I think it's like next week it comes out. I think I should change this blade. After that, uh, after that brief demo, after that brief demo, I, uh, I'm really, really excited to play it, the full version. Chilling, playing chauffeur for your sister. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Begrudgingly or, 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 or happily. My day's been going okay. Started a little late. Started a little late. I'm gonna say that right now. I'm gonna brush this onto the floor. I'm gonna vacuum after this. Um, starting a little late. I wanted to start at like, God. I wanted to start like an hour and change ago. You know. I put these away. There won't be a stream tomorrow. But yeah, day's been alright. There won't be a stream tomorrow for me. Um, I have a date. I really have to start like rearranging my schedule to these to these dates because like I haven't even attempted to. You know, as a result, th th there's a twofold result. One, there's just like less stuff going up on the YouTube channel. You know, but two, you guys are getting less dick. God, sounds weird when I say it like that. Um, hey, hey, feels how you doing, baby? 
How's your day been? I'm going to increase this brightness a little bit. Actually, let me swap over to that. Let's decrease it because I need to be able to see these lines. Okay. Um, I think I need to replace the blade. I've been also meaning to buy a box of X-Acto blades. Hopefully I won't have to cut too much today. I think I did most the majority of the cutting yesterday. I hate handling these blades like this. These tiny little things, because I'm always worried I'm gonna cut myself. Because they feel so like fragile and yet explosive. Where's my blade? Brought home his double base. Um that's not terrible, right? Is that's not terrible. Is that terrible? Tell him to put on headphones and don't plug in the amplifier. The best way to practice. I don't know. He's good. Yeah, see? So it's not terrible. Like, imagine if you had one of those kids that's just, like, awful at music. It's like, oh my god. I just wish he would quit, but I, I have to be... Like, I just wish he would quit, but I have to be a supportive parent, so I keep telling him, you're doing great, son. My wife hates me. My wife hates the fact that I bought him a thing. Oh god, did I tell you? So, this woman that I'm dating, she's actually right now, not right now, but um, on Tuesdays? She has dr drumming lessons. She's learning to play the drums. She's a, I think she's a little manic sometimes when it comes to that sort of thing. Like, I think she got the idea that she wanted to learn an instrument. And so drums came to mind and she ended up learning drums. And so like, she's three lessons in, she's kind of regretting it, but, um, you know, she paid for eight. So she's going to go to all eight. Yeah. This feels completely different when it's a new blade. And it cuts through in like one, one swoop. Yeah, look at that shit. Okay. Is the stand up? Oh, oh, I thought you meant like, because I thought he was like going for that. Oh, that's right. This is for band for for class. They're not gonna let him play like a cool bass to be in a metal band. They're gonna make him play. A nerd base. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not calling it boy. <laughs> it's probably because there's twice as much base. No treble. No treble. God. Ah. <sighs> The problem with working with like leathers this dark is sometimes I can't tell what I'm looking at. He's in strings. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them to make an exception for him because he's going to be a rock star and daddy needs to retire early. My god, that just cuts so smoothly. Sorry if I'm like a little, hey, what's up, Ryan? I don't know about out of this world. Kind of mediocre. I, I am mediocre Chan at best. Mediocre. I'm a mediocre. Can you imagine? How's your week been, Ryan? Holy. Okay. I feel like I push down too hard, you know, when I cut. Those edges are so nice, though. I feel like I push down too hard when I cut. But I also don't want to, like, cut myself, so, like... But I also, I think when I push down too hard, I risk the thing jumping up and cutting me, so, like... I don't know. 
So there's a few things that I learned from the last one, the last wallet that I made on stream that I'm not going to repeat here. Um, like one, don't try to do the entire thing in one stream. So this is going to be like a part one and a part two deal. Two. Um, what was it called? We got to sand. I got to get used to sanding. I have two grits of sandpaper. I got to use the two grits of sandpaper, you know? Hi, Tofu. Uh, someone's doing shout outs. Two days of work dealt with finishing a commission. Ooh, nice. Wait, commissions? I didn't know you do commissions. What do you do commissions for? Do you, um, is it blender work? Because I remember, I remember, I remember you do really good work in Blender. Or is it something else? Make me a crafter's table. No, no, it's okay. I don't need a crafter's table. I got no room for it. You want him to learn the double bass once he's in high school? You're going to push him to join jazz? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then and then he can try jazz cigarettes, and you can be like, "Yeah, these are jazz cigarettes. I t they're like they're like beer that you smoke." <laughs> I'm sorry. I I love that description, but like part of it's just kind of funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not making fun of you. I am not. I promise. It's just it's it's both apt and also hilarious. I don't I don't have room for a crafter's table. I'm going to be perfectly honest. And I've been like considering rearranging the studio in New York City because of like, you know, how the space is right now. Like, I'm not using my living room, but like there's a mess in there for reasons that I'm not going to get into. It's not my mess, but the person who made that mess uh, refuses to clean it. And so I'm stuck with it because I live alone. Uh, as a result, you know, I basically operate the majority, I, like ever since I've done the stream, I've been operating it out of the bedroom. Right. One that doubles as a gaming desk as well. What? You're crazy, Feels. Feels, you crazy. I could see that happening though. That sounds kind of cool, but also, you're crazy. Honestly, I would think that, and I've, I've pictured like the whole, if I had like a whole ass room to work with, I would want the crafting station to be separate of the computer simply because I don't want to be like hammering on the same surface where the forces could travel to the computer. You know what I mean? Because you don't want those forces like hitting that, if that makes any sense. Let me... I don't know why I'm doing it in that angle. Let me cut this off here. I don't think it's good for the uh, the PC to get rattled, you know? Can we? What is still attached on the other side? Yeah, that's what I was trying to cut. Fucking hell. Get over here. There we go. VR chat 3D models. Oh. Just him bent over. No, no, Tofu. You can't craft things by poking my butthole. Nothing good comes out of my butthole. I've seen it. Oh, God. They're asking for miracles. And they wanna they wanna stream their VTuber off their fucking phone. I hate clients sometimes. Like when you deal with customers, you deal with like some of the most unrealistic expectations. You know? It's just like, well, well, I'm hiring you to do and it's like, yeah, but there's only a certain limit of like, you know, physics. As to why we cannot do that, sir. Or madam, you know. 
whoever really. Client son. We'll call him client son. All right, come on. All right. I gotta, I can't just tear this out. That's the thing. I mean, I shouldn't just tear it out, is what it is. There we go. Okay. Let's cut that all the way down. Corner to corner. I hate that the glasses kind of screw up my vision. Not screw it up, but like, I feel like I'm not... Maybe it's the glare of this um, ruler. Do this from here to there. So, oh, I've been in the process of trying to figure out how to get good hardware. I mean, I know where to get good hardware, but the shipping sucks. Um, the hardware that I want, I want to get like really nice hardware for like zippers, for um, Put these someplace. I should have a garbage bag, actually. Why don't I have a garbage bag? Your PC is free floating? Like witchcraft? Like in shipping? Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember when, when I first opened this thing. They said, like, check all the components. I'm like, I, I think everything's okay. You know, like, I tried, like, pushing everything in. It's like, everything seems fine. It's, it's not attached to the base, but it's not on the ground. Yeah, I do. Oh, my God. I remember when I first brought, bought this PC, my mom's like, are you going to put that thing on the floor? I'm like, what are you, crazy? You know? Hey, Yggdrasil, how you doing? Quest Avatar is literally just a damn... F what do you mean? Like, just phone... To do some work that way without needing to fit stupid VR chat. Okay. And there's a bunch of, of course, of course, of course. I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, whatever gets your goat, right? But, like, holy shit. Is this half an inch? That is, that's gotta be half an inch. Yeah, that's a half an inch. Because this is gonna be the interior and exterior, so this is gonna fold over. There's a few tricks that I learned ever since the last wallet. It's supposed to fold over like this. I hope that there's enough clo um, clearance there. Because otherwise, it won't work. Alright, so we have all the parts cut out. We have our two side panels. That go there. It's a different blue, I know. And then we have the, uh, the middle contrast panels. Right? And these will form um, these pockets, these side pockets, as well as the top loading pockets. There's only going to be two because the weird design that I had created for these are, like, huge. Like, they're huge. And it's just like, well, you know what? I kind of want them to be big. Um, I didn't even consult my client for this. This is a gift, and it's just going to be like, haha, you're going to like it, motherfucker. I'm kidding. I, I, I don't approach things like that, but also, like, I really hope they do. Anyway, it's a present for somebody. Uh, their birthday was yesterday. Um, it's not because of that, though. It's because of something else. And I do owe them a big thing. And those. I'll explain more later when they figure it out. Now, um, side pocket, and then... Main pocket, right? So we're going to do all this now. 20k. Yeah, but they could wear the fursuit to cons. And then they can like use the fursuit to get laid. I think that's how that works, right? I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a bag because I need to... I, I keep... I don't know why I haven't thought about this. I should have like a scrap bag to just like throw scrap in for when I'm done. So that... Not, not scrap bag. A uh, garbage bag. I don't know where to put this. I'll put that over there. I'll be back. Ah, so I'm not good at crafting. I don't know what you're talking about, Ryan. You're crazy. Everybody's crazy. You think I'm good at this. Um, 
I have to be careful though, because now I'm just going to put a plastic bag on the floor, and I know that sometimes summer will go into a bag and just nestle in there, or nest in there, and it's just like, no, get out of there, you little shit. To commission a Kingdom Hearts wallet? Listen, I don't know. I really don't know. But also, um, the amount of detail you think that I could do versus the amount of detail I can actually do is like very, very far from one another. I had to say that right now. Um, realistically, I'm not going to be doing um, custom work just because I just, oh my god. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. At least for the most part. Like, this is a special case, and I'm going to tell you this much right now. As I've been working on this, and it took me hours, hours to figure out just like this, uh, I'm starting to regret the, the fact that I decided I was going to do this. So, <laughs> I don't regret it because it's a present, you know, but I do regret that it's just like, like as the hours started to, to, to tick on, I was like, wow, this is taking me an awful long time to figure out this one very simple thing. I thought I brought clamps here, and I did not. Do I have clamps? You know? Okay. I think, honestly, Ryan, doing things with your hands is probably, like, one of the funnest things you can do, right? And I recommend it if you, like, you know, like, these tools were not expensive. I don't know if they're going to be expensive over there, though, because you're, you're in a different country. It's probably a different economy. But these tools were not expensive. I think I paid, like, for a starter kit. And, like, honestly, I wouldn't have gotten the starter kit um, had I known better. You crafted a front... See, like, that, that probably requires even, like, more technical expertise. Because that involves something that's like, oh, that goes on a car. Um, you know what I mean? There's got to be... um. What's it called? Um, clear, not clearances. Um, minimal amounts of requirements for just um, what's the term? Making sure that it like is strong enough to do with the job, right? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't know what the, it's fucking called. I, that's, that's why I'm, like, stuttering here. It's like, I don't know what it's called, but, you know, there's got to be requirements for that shit. All right, so we're going to glue that down there. But first, I think I want to trim off some of this stuff. Because I did leave that on there, and I was planning on getting rid of it. You're right. Amateur Minecrafter. I think that everyone starts off someplace in Minecraft. And then eventually it's just like, well, I did it. I made the castle from Game of Thrones in Minecraft. Okay. Which one? This, this several, I know. But this is the castle from Game of Thrones. This is the thick one, isn't it? As long as that shit works, man. Hey, what's up, Foobish? As long as that shit works, Ryan, you know what I mean? Um, Did you hear back from them yet, Foob? I know we just talked about it, like, maybe two minutes ago. But, like, honestly, I just, I need to know how fast they fucking do it. I've had a few conversations with them in the past over things that I've purchased, and it's like, ah, cool. You know, like, usually they take care of it. Uh, pretty quickly. There was one where I was embarrassed after I asked them about something. Because I I was like, I could have sworn I was doing r ranked matches. And it turns out that because of the change in the UI, uh, I was actually not doing ranked matches. And I was like, oh. Who the fuck put that thing? Hey, what's up, Tribal Tsa? Happy Friday. How's your week? Still nothing. Ugh. What a bunch of buttheads. Alright, so let's see if we're gonna trim that off. Oh, and that's right, I gotta do the uh, edge here. I should actually trim these corners here.
I hear like birds outside and they're just like not having a good day of it. I don't know what's going on out there, guys. Like they sound pretty upsetty spaghetti out there. And like I just would like peace and quiet. I don't know about you guys. It's uh Rub it in. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Friday's going all right, man. Just, you know, had a late start. Hey, cut that down a little bit. Cut this down a little bit. Okay. I don't want these to be, like, too pointy. And then what happens is, after the fact, I really shouldn't, like, keep this thing in my hand. What happens after the fact is I'm going to sand this down anyway. Oh, it won't be too difficult. Gonna... Come on. Trim that off. Oh, well, things are going okay so far. We have a date tomorrow. I haven't fully planned like I should have. Um, I really should plan better, but I am um. Easily distracted by other things. Uh, we do plan to go get Korean fried chicken and go to a stationery store. That's the only thing we have planned. <laughs> ah, it's not a date, is it? Um, when she she came up with a bunch of ideas for like dates, which was really sweet of her, but none of them seemed like the kind of thing that I would expect her to like. You know. And I asked her that. I was like, do you even like those? Because like, those don't seem like the kind of thing you'd be into. You know, I've only known you for like a few weeks, but like, I can't imagine you liking any of these. Maybe karaoke. Like she recommended bowling or um, an arcade. And I was just like, that's, that's, that doesn't seem like you, you know? I mean, granted, we could just go bowling tomorrow. But um, it's warm in here. Oh, that's right. For whatever reason, it's like spring weather now. It's like spring weather now, guys, in New York. I just really hate it. Not hate it, but it's just like, it's too warm. It's not warm enough for a picnic, though. Otherwise, I'd ask, like, do you want to just have a picnic? We can, like, go on the grass and, like, snoogle in public. So, like, you know, no, 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 no groping. That's really for me, not for her. I'm I'm the problem. I'm the actual problem. It was a test? No, it can't be a test. She can't test me. Oh crap. She's a high school science teacher. She's testing me, isn't she? Um But yeah, like like every every you know every suggestion was just like, mm, that doesn't seem like a thing for you. Like she recommended bowling, and I was just like Hmm. You don't seem like a bowler. You know, granted, I'm not, like, judging based on your appearance, but I am judging based on, like, the size of your arms, which are very tiny. Her her arms are, like, super tiny. She's super skinny. Um, That's just who she is. She told me she's actually technically underweight, according to those charts in the... in the, uh... Uh-oh. Did you? What you spam me with? Pics of houses? No. Oh my god, really? No, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're gonna go have Korean barbecue. That's the plan. We've we've had it before. Um there's actually a really large community of um of Korean people in New York. So like there's a K Town in, in Manhattan, and so there's like a bunch of places to get Korean barbecue here. You know. A deer oh that's right. You'd rather make a castle from Lord of the Rings? That's fair. One up a hair and suggest lawn balling? What's lawn balling? Is that like scurrying on the lawn? Sent the thing I wrote about. Okay. Nuts welded to the other sides and then so it should hold. Can jump on easily. Uh oh. Should I be worried? Should I be worried? That's right, because you a deer decided to that still looks really good. Like, that looks professionally made. 
I wanted to learn to weld actually, um, because as a as a job, because like I just kind of hate architecture right now. Not hate it, but like I'm not a I'm not a big fan of it. You know what I mean? I should actually do all of these pieces now, or at least the surfaces that I know I have to. You know, bevel here. This is going to be a pain. This is going to be a pain right here. I should actually sand this first, then bevel. Like the straight edges are fine, but like the, the rounded portions, I think, a problem. It's an old person sport. Oh no. Oh no. I open this. Woo! <laughs> Feels. That actually looks like fun, but you know, also like I don't envy them for having the shovel. Oh my god. That's pretty bad. That's pretty gnarly. Um, it's the first time. It was your first time? That still looks really good. Shows the houses that were... Jesus Christ. Okay, so you throw a black ball as close as you can to a white ball. That kind of reminds me of, like... Bocce ball? Bocce ball is this game that, like, old people play at the park sometimes. If they have a bocce ball court. And it, it's... Oh, God. It also reminds me of... Curling? But with balls? You guys know curling, right? When you curl for the girls. I'm kidding. That's not what curling is. I just want that to be round. Okay. Okay. Two. Whoop, I should cap that. Wrong with me. Or I cut myself. Lawn bowling except is is like curling except not on ice. Ah, I put those over there into a clean pile. Um I should trim these actually. Well this just this one. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. There we go. Yes, it's the. I don't know if it's just in Canada, but yeah, it's the broom thing with the with the with the block of, not even block. It's just like a chunk of, um, what's it called? This stuff, this material, whatever leather this is, it's really hard to skive. Maybe it's because it's kind of soft. This is like really soft leather. I think it's chrome tan, which is the reason why it's so soft. Hold on. Let me sharpen this. It's weird, though, that curling involves brooms. It's so weird, because it's just like, was there not another thing? No, it's traditionally done with brooms. Right? I guess. You know, like, I guess. Sure. If you say so. Do they have enough ice over there in Scotland? That's true. In traditional fencing, they used to use real fences. Now they gotta use like fencing foils. I love the heavyweight division in traditional fencing. They'd go after each other with giant walls, like stone hewn walls. Oh, it was great. You'd have like these two massive lads just swinging walls at each other, like Kazuma Kiryu in um, Beast Boat and uh, Yakuza Kiwami.
they have like bristles. Swiffers don't have bristles. At least mine doesn't. And I've got the well I have the Swiffer mop. Although I've been learning that uh just just mopping's probably better. Like just actually mop, you know? I fucking Alright, so let's see. You know, the next time I have like some grand idea to do something, like like I don't think I'm ever gonna do custom work out ever again after this one. Oh, the next time I have some idea like this, please somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. I'm sorry. Let's do it. This isn't even a commission. Not that I was ever keen on taking commissions, but holy shit, man. Sekiro is 50% off. Um, oh god. It's a fun game. That's right. There's a Steam like spring sale right now, isn't there? It's a really fun game. It's a really fun game. It's I platinumed it. I love that game, but um uh it 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 it's very different. Have you played Dark Souls before? Like any of them? Or a Bloodborne? Because it's 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 of that type of like quality of difficulty, but also it plays differently from them. So like if you are used to playing those, those instincts that you have for those games will not apply as much. That's not to say that if you're not already good at them, you won't be like you'll have the thing is about Sekiro is that it tries to get you to play its way because it's it has a very specific gameplay loop. Um, the, de the developers wanted the game to be about chanbara combat, right? Swords clanging on swords. Um, as a result, parries are like 100% super important. And if you've never parried in a Dark Souls game before, you better fucking learn now. Because uh, you will not beat this game. There is a hard wall. The f I managed to get through the entire game without parrying, but like the final boss, if you don't learn how to parry him, you're fucked. You cannot beat him. He just will murder you. I'm not going to say who it is, but I will say that he will murder the shit out of you multiple times over and over again. I'm actually kind of surprised that I got to the end of the game without parrying, though. Because that game is a different game once you learn how to parry. And it's weird because it, it kind of like defeats the purpose almost of being like a stealthy ninja because it's like you're a stealthy ninja you should avoid getting to combat but like sometimes you have to face the thing you know no no you have to so there's no there's no either kill or there's only one way to kill any boss, and it's they have like these um these these death strike nodes, like these pips, and essentially you have to death strike them that many times. That's the only way you can kill a boss. Period. End of sentence. Um so most of the time you want to work down their stamina bar. But the thing is, they have two everybody has two bars, right? They have a stamina bar and they have a health bar. And if their health bar is high, their stamina bar will recharge very quickly. So you have to actually whittle down their health bar to prevent their stamina bar from recharging as quickly. Because otherwise, you will not do enough stamina damage to them to get that death stroke in. Uh... Uh, I platinum Bloodborne as well. 
Uh, it took a while. It took a while. The main issue was um, the amygdala. Not beating it three times and getting three different endings. It was the amygdala in the... Um, what's it called? In the Thumerian dungeon or whatever? There's one amygdala that you have to beat in order to get to the, the Queen Yarnum. Um... Because Queen Yarnum's like a boss on another, on like a level past it, but the the amygdala you have to beat with like a like a third health, and that's not fun because like it's very strong. And I think I got both lucky as well as um, what's it called? Oh, I used that that glitch trick to um, to get a bunch of experience to gain enough levels to have enough hit points so that like it wouldn't just one shot me when it landed on me yeah yeah oh god fubi knows oh fuck that thing um there was one time where i was like really close and this is actually what made me this was this this is one of the reasons why i gave up there was one time where i was playing and the game glitched wonderful the game glitched and the amygdala got stuck in the ceiling and I was like, ah, come on, I was winning. Fuck you, get back down here. And he's just stuck in the ceiling. And I'm just like, I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. So I actually gave up on the, the Platinum for like years. And then when I started streaming, I figured, you know what? What better game to play on stream than Dark uh, Bloodborne? I wasn't going to play a Dark Souls because I didn't really feel like playing through a Dark Souls, you know? I don't know. Something about them felt played out at that point. So I did Bloodborne, you know? I wanted to revisit it. I hadn't played the DLC. And so I was just like, fuck it, let's do this. And then, like, since I had that all that experience back up and everything, because I played through Bloodborne again, and the DLC, all on stream, I got my last ending. I was just like, you know what? Go fucking fuck that amygdala up. And so I did the trick to go get, like, infinite experience from the uh from that one dungeon and i was just like yeah we're coming in here with like as much hit points as possible we're gonna tank you you stupid asshole and we beat him um but i did get lucky that time fucking stupid <sighs> what a stupid goddamn boss um these should be like the same length plus otherwise there's gonna be like a discrepancy later on in the oh they are okay that's that's crazy because i did not actually measure these out properly did i oh no i did I did. Okay. And these we can trim later. I get to that part. Oh. Yes, so... Put this here. One side. Oh, I should finish these edges, right? Where were we? Sand? Gonna sand these little points so that they're a little softer. Okay. I don't want to cut that, but inadvertently I'm cutting that, so let me just stop that now. What the fuck? Uh, hi. Hi! Oh god, we're being raided. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> How hard you, nerd? Thank you for the raid. How's your day been? How's your stream? What were you up to today? Welcome aboard, everybody. I'm Dick Record. Oh, how hard do you, nerd? Ah, I meant- I, I read that wrong. I'm so sorry. How was your stream? What'd you play? What'd you play? What were you up to? Father Gascoin. Father Gas Queen's like a really good boss fight because like he teaches you that you need to fight this. You have to play this game in a certain way. Otherwise, you cannot beat it. And he's like a true wall in that game. Welcome aboard, everybody. I'm Dick Record, also known as Dick Record. Um, right now, I'm making a wallet for a friend. I have all the pieces cut out. And so I'm going to be constructing part of it on stream. Today, I'm not going to over... I'm not going to kill myself because last time I made a wallet on stream... I damn near killed myself, and I hate myself for it. 
Um, and I don't like the stitching on it, so whatever. Um, but tell me, did some last spell and clan O'Connell? Ooh, I'm wearing green for St. Patrick's. I, I'm wearing green, so nobody can pinch me. Nobody can pinch me. Nobody can pinch me. I typically don't um, um, celebrate holidays because they go against my religion. I'm kidding, of course. Uh, I have I have this problem where I can't stop inadvertently just like joking. I'm sorry. So what's Clano? Oh, thank you for becoming a dickhead. Um, we call the homies dickheads here because that's. It seemed on brand at the time, and I don't know how to feel about it still. <laughs> hey, Chuck, how you doing? Retact, thank you for joining us, as well as Magrim, thank you for joining us. Um, but yeah, um, on this channel, I do a little bit of uh, everything. Like, I voice act when I play through... Um, I do voice act when I play through games like uh, JRPGs, or, uh, you know, just any game where there's a bunch of dialogue... Uh, text from NPCs and other characters that uh, was not fully voice acted by the main cast. Um, as well as uh, right now we're working through the Bioshock series because one, I didn't play through two at all and there's some really good stuff back there but also because I recently beat System Shock and I was just like you know what, let's do all the M-Sims. Um, I don't own, what's it called though? Deus Ex and I probably should pick that up. You're a comic? Ooh, like a comedian? <gasps> Or, or do you mean like you're a 2D comic book superhero? I'm kidding. Um, actually, uh, there was this comedian that sort of like was one of the inspirations for me starting to stream. It's uh, this dude, Holden. Crap, not Caulfield. Crap. He has a podcast too. It's called Wizard and the Bruiser. Holden McNeely? Is that it? Shit. He's a, he's a funny guy. Um, but he he's a he's a he's a stand up comic well not stand up but he's part of a comedy group in New York City and they're a bunch of wacky people and I only know of them through the podcast and it was just like well let me let me let me let me you know and and like it seemed to be going well for him so I was like let me try it too you know to both oh oh boy so you have to be very careful when it's time to do the uh, the laundry I'm assuming hmm hmm. So today, <laughs> ah, I don't know what I'm doing sometimes, guys. Today, hmm, I'm actually a little worried about this because there's going to be stitching that I have to do behind this. Well, we'll get there when we get there. Um, I'm actually going to be making these panels, I think, at the very most, and then I'm going to switch over to Bioshock 2. We started Bioshock 2 last stream, or two streams ago. Last stream was Persona 5. I'm working on Persona 5. And we're 300 hours into that because I have a problem. Oh, wait, I should be doing these. I should be finishing these edges. What's wrong with me? Guys, I don't know what's wrong with me. To finish the edges, I use this wonderful material called tokenol. Um, somebody will make a joke about how it's a, a white substance, a white goo. And to which I say, listen, if yours looks like that, you should see a doctor to sand this actually i forgot to sand every other piece i'm so overwhelmed i'm not great with them getting rated still it's been almost two years you know and i'm still i still don't know what to do when we get rated other than welcome you all aboard hi everybody um i'm incredibly awkward i'm sorry it's just it's his what it is sorry god you know, I used to hate the thought of like sanding things because the the grinding sensation always bothered my uh my bones and now now we're used to it. I still hate them um, chalkboard though. Like using a chalkboard. Let that to be perfectly round and it's not yet. There. I do need to sand that down a little bit because there's a little bit of ink there. I need to sand that down a little bit because there's a little bit of ink there. And there's a laid edge. Uh, so do you, like, when you stream, do you do, um, 
Is it just video games on your end? Or do you do uh do you do like bits? I know that when I first started to stream, I was like over analyzing like what I needed to do to be a good streamer, right? And so I was like, I should learn uh what's it called? I should learn um improv. And so I tried to learn improv through YouTube videos, only to find out that like every YouTube video on improv is like the it's even more awkward than I am. Uh I was like, well, there goes that. I'm not gonna learn that. Um you know, plus I I I I, I hesitate and I st not stutter, but like I do things like that. They like a lot. You know? Yeah. All right. Okay. I think that's good. I'm going to oh, let me put this is a little bit of the sandio paper. You got a dip. All right, dude. You have a good rest of your Saturday, okay? Because my God, it's Saturday over there. Holy shit! Time is a flat circle, but the planet is not. The planet's round, and if you think the planet's flat, please leave. We're, we're putting that down right now. But tribal, you have a good day, okay? Otherwise, I'm gonna be very upset with you. I'm be very upset. I almost forgot to sand this. I try to do all my sanding at once so that I don't get the sand stuff in the token oil. Because the token oil is like, it's very, I don't, I don't want it to be not the right color. It's supposed to be clear. It's supposed to dry clear and everything. I don't know if you guys know token oil. No token oil, token oil. Token oil is a weird, so it's actually from Japan, despite the name. And I don't know if it's like a, a loan word. Because it says right here, toko no, right? But like, I, I don't know like where it's from. Spread the token oil thinly on the flesh side or cut edge of leather and polish evenly with the polishing tool. You can get a beautiful leather. The correct time to polish is when token oil is half dried. Token oil can be used for vegetable chrome and combination tan leathers. Thank you for doing the shouty outy. So yeah, a lot, a lot of leather work is just like, ah, I need to make sure that I do this several times. I need to be very, very thorough and very, um, you know, deliberate with all the things that I do. Although it was good that I um I worked out the issues that I did with this particular wallet because I will say this now that I have I've it helped me to work out the issues with like the standard um billfold that I want to make um which is why I bought so much brown and so much um veg tan although I don't know how these work with veg tan so we'll see. So token oil is the kind of thing that you put like a dab. You just sort of work it in there. And it's okay if it gets on the front, whatever. I'm going to work it in there. God, I, I, okay, it sounds like they're playing. Okay. Every time I hear like kids outside, like screaming, it's like, are they playing? Please tell me they're playing. And it sounds like they're playing. I don't have kids, but like every time it's like a, I don't know if it's a protector instinct or whatnot, but it's just like, and I don't want to like go out there screaming like, hey, you kids all right? Because they might take it the wrong way. They might think that I'm like yelling at them. It's like, I'm not yelling at you kids. You kids have fun. Live your best lives. Don't eat candy from strangers, though. Or have your parents look at it first. Okay. So put a little bit on there. Move to the next piece. We got to let it like semi dry. So I'm going to like move to the next piece and then like, Burn shafter. I have another friend who, like, I know he doesn't have a wallet. Well, I know that he made one out of, like, duct tape. 
And it's just like, okay. <laughs> um, it's cool and all, but like, you should get a wallet that doesn't, like his, it looks like it's about to fall apart. I think about making him one, but like, oh my god. Each one of these takes so long to, I guess we have the patterns now, you know? If I had a press, I could just like, purchase the dies to make the pieces very quickly, including like, the holes pre-stamped, so I don't have to like, worry about that. I don't have a press. I don't have room for a press either. But that would make everything like super duper fast. And it would re remove like a lot of the um, irregularities that you get from hand cutting. You know? Close this for a bit. Here it is. Here's my burnishing stick. So after you apply it, you burnish. And it's basically just you work that in there. And this helps to smooth it down. This is called burnishing. And it's not about putting pressure on there, it's about applying heat, friction, and motion to the piece. Right? Like, I'm probably even pushing down too much on it. I've actually been looking into getting, um, rotary bits and a rotary, like a hand rotary thing for this, because, like, I could do this so much faster with that. And I just, I don't know if I still have, like, a hand drill still somewhere. Although, I don't know if that'll make too much noise or not. But, like, I think that this could be done a lot faster with, like, a small tool. And, in fact, I've seen, like, you know, in more, um, professional use studios, they'll, they'll have, like, a sander, you know, that's, like, dedicated one half for sanding and then another half for, like, um burnishing you know i really do like how this thing makes these edges though i'm really glad that i found out about tokenol hashtag not sponsored just really like the product all right so this part's gonna be hard actually i might have to like fold a little bit I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Oh, that's the wrong one. She used the thinnest one. But I... Woo! Yeah, it doesn't even fit in there. Let me just use the uh, end of this. That might be a little scuffed in there. I think that was a little bit more product, actually. So this material contains like a little bit of wax and a little bit of like glue material in it, right? Um, which is weird. I actually watched the video where they compared how this product works to. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? That was my main concern with like, because I have a, a, a drill, like an electric drill someplace. And I could get like a router for it that just like does this. But like, I guess the concern is, you know, like. Is it going to create too much noise on the stream, right? Not that we're not already doing like a ton of making a ton of noise just because of the hammering portions, right? Um, I'm going to hit that with a little bit more. But I think it would also like increase my production. Come on, just a dab. And also, like, you know. I'm going to say this, like, the parts where I'm just, like, slowly working these things in and everything are, like, the most boring parts, and I would like them to be over. There are parts to this that I really enjoy, like the design portion, right, and the stitching portion, right, but, like, finishing edges is not fun. You know, and I think that that's because it's just like, it feels like busy work, you know? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like a little like hand router, like a, and it'll be like, you know, hopefully a little electric powered thing with like a tiny ass battery 
Because, like, realistically, I don't need it to, like, exert a lot of force. It's more about, like, spinning. Um, a lot of RPM, though, will, like, make this a lot faster. Yeah. Oh, right. So I was watching this video on, on, on the YouTubes about how um, some people aren't convinced that this stuff is not just glue. So they actually compared this stuff with, like, Elmer's glue. Hashtag not sponsored. And, you know, it was just like, yeah, like, it does do some burnish work. But some of that might just be because, like, you would have gotten burnish work done regardless. So long as you applied heat, pressure, and and a little bit of, like, water to the surface that you're trying to burnish, right? Because one of the one of the materials that that some people swear by for burnishing, I haven't tried it yet, is actually just water. You just use a little bit of water and then you hit it with the uh the burnishing tool, this thing. And you know, because the 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 thing about burnishing is that like it heats up the loose fibers and draws out the oil to the surface which then helps to smooth out the edges, you know? So, uh-oh, I think she's texting me now. I gotta figure out what we're doing tomorrow. Something that's not bowling and or an arcade. She actually recommended bowling an arcade, um, a, a board game cafe, and I was just like, do you like any of these things? I'm like, I don't think you like these things. She's like, I like... Um, I I like playing Catan and I like bowling in groups and it's like okay well we're not a group it's just the two of us just the two of us we can make it if we try just the two like I I'm I'm not at the point and I don't trust myself to recommend Netflix and chill because you know what happens with Netflix and chill you both realize that you're you're past your twenties and so well she's not um. You both realize, I'm 28, that's right, um, that you're too old for this. And so you just sort of uh, take a nap and wake up at like four in the morning and go like, shit, should I get you an Uber, babe? Hand routers are louder. Th oh, really? Fuck me. I don't need them to be louder. I need them to be quieter. That's not, that's not good. All right, so duly noted. I guess I could do that shit off stream, right? Because it's really just like for me. Like when I go into production mode, you know? Like I'd like to be able to do this quick, right? Like this, this takes a long time. Like you see it, right? Like I feel like I've been doing this for like 30 minutes. I feel like I've been doing this for 30 minutes. Just to do these edges, you know. Okay. Hey, Summer. That does sort of make sense, feels. Because, like, we're trying to produce, like, a certain amount of, like, friction, right? So I'm guessing that, like, they don't... Re other leather workers and, and companies that make leather working supplies don't recommend going too fast because you don't want to accidentally like over burnish. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, none of that makes sense. Whatever I just said actually doesn't make sense. So I should be ignored, actually. I don't know what's going on, guys. But it does sort of, it does kind of, in a way, make sense. Because, like, if I'm only doing this, like, with this much pressure, I can't imagine, like, it behooving me to, like, do it at significantly higher pressure. You know what I mean? Oops. I smack things all around me. Did I tighten this? I didn't even tighten this. There we go. I don't want the camera to move. Well, yeah, it's got to spin really fast for especially metal, right? Like, wait, you do metal work? I didn't know you did metal work. It's kind of cool. The ones from um, especially like wooden metal work, right? 
Like, that's got to be super duper loud. Because, like, you need to exert a lot of force. A lot. A lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. So those spots make sense that they didn't move. Oh. I mean, that's still fair, right? Just do a little bit of glue here. A little bit of glue here. This one actually has a bit of an over overhang because I think I accidentally made this piece too big. That'll happen. That'll happen. The edge of this that actually makes matters the most is this side. Edge to edge. As long as everything makes sense. Now we're going to actually punch holes here. Where's my hammer? You don't consider okay. A pyrography pen? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do burning in designs. I'm sorry. Um, that's an entirely different skill and set of or skill set rather. I need a paper towel. I'll be right back. That's an entirely different skill set, and I don't plan on learning it. Sorry. I was asking my cat where my phone was. Oh no. She forgot to wear green. She's going to get pinched. Hey, what's up, chicken lips? How you doing, Cody? Oh no, you're going to get pinched. I, um, so there's a very specific design aesthetic that I'm going for, and it doesn't involve, like, certain things like that, right? Although, I guess it's hard to, to qua qualify it, quantify it, describe it under, like, one term, so there's that also. I'm doing okay. I think okay is a good place to aim for, right? Right. Oh shit, I need this again. I think it's okay to aim for okay. Um so we need this again. Because I need to mark some some holy oleos. Um where's my all? Where's the other all? I have a pointy all that's like missing and that's not good. There you are. Let me put this over here. So it doesn't fall over. Let me close this so that it doesn't leak all over the place. I think that okay is good to aim for. Usually. Aim for three spots. Okay. I think it's okay to aim for okay. Right? It's better than bad. You don't want to go bad. Bad's bad. Don't ever... Well, sometimes you can't help it and you just end up in bad. But you don't want to be in bad. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yes, I'm going to mark a line. Need a ruler. Perfect. 
and we're gonna punch holes along there. So last time I did one of these wallets, I only did like two holes here to do a stitch thing, and then when I put cards in it, I realized that they were rocking back and forth. Someone coming into your stream and using their emotes all the time. I think it's fine. I don't know. Why? I mean, they have their emotes for a reason. Is it any different from, like, you know, another member of chat just using other people's emotes? Like, we have, we, everybody has access to, um, to channel emotes, you know, uh, follower emotes. And, you know, like, despite that, you know, your chat's not only going to use your follower emotes in your chat, right? They're going to use other emotes, right? So I don't think this is anything inherently wrong with it. Oh, here we are. It's like looking for these. Bought new hole punches. They're kind of better than the original ones that I got, but the the listing mislabeled them as being four centimeters between punch and they're four centimeters on I mean not centimeters, millimeters between punches and they're four millimeters on center, which is very different. Oh wait, I probably need the big one here. If I would have known that they were four on center, I would have not gotten them. I would have gotten like the five or the six, you know, because I was hoping to get something that's like a little different from what we have. But what do you mean? Uh, let's see. What would my not? No, I don't actually know. I just like, you know, me feels I'm always like concerned about mm, this is a little. I'm always con I I have like the whole um what's it called anxiety about spending money so I always go for like as low as possible right that's me personally because of the anxiety I don't think I have to do that much I just feel like Gunk and then gunk. Where's my hammer? It was here a second ago. Like, I saw a few on, like, Amazon for, like, 20 bucks, and something told me... Then more than 20 bucks. Ah! Uh. You know what I mean? Um, realistically, I guess it really depends on, like, what's in there, because I'd like sanding. I'd like to use it for sanding as well as, um, if it came with the heads for sanding and um, burnishing, that'd be great. Not all of the ones that I've seen come with the heads for sanding and burnishing, to the point where, like, I feel like I could just buy the burnishing heads separately for less. I've seen them for as low as, like, 20 bucks, and it's just like, I probably just I should spend more than that. Honestly, like, I understand your concern, Tofu. Like, it, in a way, does sort of feel self promoting but, like, I mean, one, they paid, well, not paid, but, like, if, if it was just, like, somebody else, um, if it was just, like, a regular chat member just using somebody else's emotes all the time, you know, that's probably too long, you, you probably wouldn't be as upset, right? So, like, think of it like that, right? Well, that's a little jagged. I don't know why that came out like that. I've also been looking into getting more polycord. Because I feel like I could use more. Oh my god! I, 
I don't know if I agree, Tofu. And yeah, some people have like really, really good emotes. Like I know that my emotes are kind of like lacking and I've, I've been needing to both like make new ones and also make additional ones. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do any of that. I'm just so lazy. Not lazy. It does feel like I'm, I'm doing a lot for the channel. And then like, I also find myself going like, you know, I really should like get back out there in terms of like a regular job. You know, I should start applying again to like architectural firms because like one i don't plan to do this for a living but also two like i've been out there a few times now since the pandemic because i'm dating this woman and it's just like oh wow everyone else seems to think that this shit's over you know and it, it's not like nearly as dangerous out there as like my brain had been convinced for a while you know and i i, I sat down and thought to myself like you know if you get sick again like you, it's it hasn't killed you the past two times. It's likely not going to kill you. You know, you you're over the hump, essentially. It would be inconvenient to get sick, but you've been sick before, and realistically, it it might be time to move forward with one's life rather than like you know, kind of spending all my time in the Neverland Ranch, uh uploading videos to YouTube and and doing this because I haven't turned this into a into a a business and I probably won't be able to for a while you know and plus you know honestly with the with leathercraft and everything you really shouldn't just like quit your day job to go like all right I'm going to make this because it doesn't it's not how these type of things work Right, you don't go like, all right, I'm quitting my day job. I'm gonna be a full time leather crafter, and have like no clients and everything. Right, so hundred and ten. Woo! <laughs> Feels is right. If you're not first, you're last. Use Trey's butt all the time. <laughs> oh, thank you, Reaper. You you know, like I don't care which emotes you guys use. Just so y'all know, right? Like at at Dick Record Heavy Industries, we're an equal emote opportunity family. I just, I guess family. We're not an employer. I don't employ anybody. Maybe I put the cats to work. You want to go to work, sweetie? Kidding. She's like, I, I need a BF. She's taking a BF right now. Taking that actually. I just recently found out that Diablo 4 came out. Never been huge on the Diablo series, but like they've always intrigued me. I played through three. I never beat the first one. I only played it on my PlayStation, which some of you are probably like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, I had it on PlayStation. I still have it for PlayStation. It's amazing that it's even on PlayStation. I'm going to say that right now. Um, And it does eat up an entire memory card. Oh, God, guys, remember memory cards? It eats up an entire memory card's worth of data by itself. For your one save. For your one character. One game, though. I am doing these stitches weird, aren't I? But I am taking it... Should I be taking it up? They look like they're... They look like they're uh, doing that. I don't know. Some people do. That's the problem. That's the problem feels, you know, um, and it is, it is mostly as, um, it's so that they can claim, um, that they did all that they need to do as a company to make sure that, you know, so that they absolve themselves of any, uh, um, what's it called? Liability. Should there be a lawsuit in the future? Right. Cause most of these lawsuits are scattershot lawsuits. Where, you know, the person... Should I be taking this down? Let me take this down. Because that keeps trying to go through the... 
the previous thread. Let me take this, or not down, up. I've been taking it down. Oh yeah, it's passing right through. Whoops, I'm doing that wrong. It's it's solely so that they can claim that they're not um, liable. It's not for you, it's for them. I remember when my, my last company got bought out, they made us take all of these like tests. They they made us do this entire we spent an entire day on it. Um, um sexual harassment, inclusion, etc. And it was just like, uh, all right. I failed the sexual harassment one. Um I think it was the sexual harassment one. I think I failed it. Not because I'm a sussy baka who thinks it's okay to like sniff female co co-workers you know I, it's not because of that i didn't i I don't believe that it just it i don't know what i got wrong but it was like one of those like this is ambiguous i feel like that there should be a better thing there and there isn't either way That's exactly, I especially, oh my god, there's, in Japan, they keep, like, having mascot cats, right, for, like, you know, actual businesses, and it's just like, yeah, that's the station manager for this station. They've done that a few times, because, like, cats are cute, and so it's just, like, all it does is, it, like, sometimes they'll put a hat on it, and it'll sit there and sunbathe in, like, the the station attendant's um, thing, while the actual station attendant does real work. But, like, it's also very cute, so it's just like, alright, I get it. Little fuck. <laughs> you little shit. Um. So I get it. Not, not jealous or bitter. Well, they can't use equestrians because that's horse people. And if you use horse people, you end up walking funny. I'm kidding. That's a joke. It's a weird joke. I don't even think it makes sense. See you later, Summer. Whatever you want. You still here? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Are you really tofu? Oh, God damn it. Why do so many of my... F so many people that I know just end up... Are you please, please eat, guys. Eat fiber. I don't care who has to hear this. Have fiber in your diet. I don't give a shit how you get it in there. If you just fucking shove packets of Metamucil up your ass. Or if you actually just like have, you know, a fair amount of fruits and vegetables in your diet. Just make sure you have fiber in you. Okay? I don't want you constipated like my dumb fucking sister. Hi, Goose. Uh, Petanoff says doing work was more productive and less stressful. No, that sounds 100% correct. That sounds 100% correct. Of course, then it, it falls on everybody to like, it might become an additional job or maybe somebody becomes like a designated caretaker, right? Because like somebody's got to like make sure that, that that little guy or girl gets fed, right? And um, as their water changed, gets walked if they need to be walked. Um... Etc. You know, unless you like hire someone specifically for that, but I don't think that's a. I don't think it's the kind of thing that you want to hire a person for and put on payroll for. You know what I mean? Okay, got that one done. Oos, how's your day? How what? I, you stream so late in the evening, and I know that like that's just because that's when your free time. But holy shit, you're so late. I don't get to catch it. Where did I put this one piece? One piece. There it is. Right in front of my friggin' face. 
There are suppository. What? What? What did I miss? You feel like you should rejoin? No, no. You're fine, Goose. You actually know how to properly diet and exercise and shit. It's these fucking degenerates who are like, no, I'm not gonna like poop normally. Fucking people. I swear to God. I swear to God. I don't even know what's wrong with y'all. Did I do this wrong? I can't be wrong. That's there, that's there. That's the circle. Oh, there's just overlap here. I shouldn't have made this to have overlap. Whatever. I don't want to fix it. I should fix it. Um... We're just, I'm just picking on my sister for not fucking eating enough vegetables. She's like, I can't poop, bro. Like, what do you want me to do about it? Want me to get the plunger? I'll get the plunger. Fucking God damn it, make me plunge her ass again. What, what did I do this time? I'm sorry. Am I making things uncomfortable for everybody? Because if I am, welcome to Dick Record Heavy Industries. Uh, let's see. Where's my stretch or the sharper one? I need the sharper one. I think this is the threading all, actually. I think this is made so that I can pass a thread through it. But it's incredibly sharp. To the point where it's like, be careful with that shit, man. Um, Where's my glue? No, no, feels. You got it right. You can't be Susu. Nobody can be Susu. She's too cute for all of us. I know you guys know Susu. And she has a cute cat too. And it's just like, aw. Fuck me, man. Can't have it all. Fix that. Get off of there. Yeah, man. I have to figure out if there's any way to change the settings on this camera to be like better at zooming in and out. Or maybe if it's like just because I bought a cheap camera. It could be entirely that. I bought a cheap camera, guys. And I think that my 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 phone webcam is probably better. Hi Summer. Did you finish your mush? You didn't finish your mush. I don't want to hear it. What are you doing? Hey, get away from there. Get away from there. Bad girl. What are you doing? I, I heard her like sniffing around that bed. It's okay though, it feels. You're our sussy baka. Should probably not put that on my bed actually all right feels we'll be here let's see so i gotta do the same thing this for this side remember don't be a sussy baka unless they're paying you for it Just kidding oh god that reminds me I don't know why that reminds me of this, but um, there was like this uh, horror um, TikToker. She would release like these really horrifying like shorts 
on TikTok that just had like this weird sort of like 90s um like horror aesthetic game to them uh vibe to them and so i recently found out through a kotaku article that she that's not her main thing her main thing is she has an only fans and so like i'm like wait 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 so there's videos of her yes there's videos of her yes and i was just like holy shit i didn't expect that i did not expect that i was like so i was kind of blown away why is there glue on the tip of this you know Like, it's wild, because, like, I don't think she actually needs to do that, but okay. You know, if she enjoys it, more power to her. You know how we feel over here at Dick Record Heavy, Heavy Industries, sex work is real work. And there should be more laws in place to protect these girls. Uh, especially if they're going to be doing... Well, I mean, she just does videos, right? But, uh, you know, I'm talking about, like, the girls out there that need to be protected, right? Um trying to playfully and not playfully but uh dance around the actual word because youtube's been kind of a a bastard i should have been stropping this i completely forgot okay actually hold on or even do this and I don't know why I'm putting that on top of that. On top of that. Where's my cards? I always have to test to make sure that these go deep enough. Giggity. Okay. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. All right, so. Where's my hammer? There's my hammer. I've been noticing especially recently that summer's been hanging around me more often on the days that I do stream. Right? Just like hanging out in the bed, right? She used to just hang out in the living room or someplace else. And now she hangs out in the bed, you know, she watches me. I think it's cute. Um, but part of me is like wondering if she's doing it because she's like, not upset, but like, uh, what's it called? you know, being affected by the fact that, like, I do, like, when I go out on Saturdays now to go, you know, on a date, like, maybe she misses me, right, my little munchkin? So. Because she's a sweet girl. She's also a panda boy. I'm kidding. She's, like, not a pain in the butt. <laughs> Such a cutie. She's a cutie. Um, I'm glad she's as nice as she is, though. Some cats are not nice. Bobby was not, like, the nicest, you know? He's my little boy, though. He's my little king. I remember when my ex was staying over... My ex from Japan, she was staying over here. Because if, if, if we couldn't have her stay over here, I was just going to get a hotel room for the two of us, you know? But um, when she was here... I, uh, she told me, like, Bobby, like, glares at her. And I, I saw it, and I took a picture. He doesn't really glare, but it, you could see, like, he's both curious and also worried, like, who the fuck is this lady? You know? And she told me, like, he was doing that a lot. Like, he would just, like, watch from, like, the, the, the doorway of another room. He'd just be like, poor little guy. He's used to being a guard cat. That's why he's like, I gotta protect my family. This is the family, this is my family. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Why are you making so much noise? Who are you? 
He's a good little boy. And cute little king. Rest in peace, Bobby. But yeah, he didn't appreciate. He felt like there was an intruder, you know? He didn't appreciate it. He was just like, why is she here? Why is she here? Who said she could come here? I certainly didn't sign off on this. Like, Bobby, please. No, you please. Come on, go to There we go. Am I doing this right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Push that through there. Pull that on both sides. So my this I I I didn't make her anything this week. I wasn't planning to. But uh I want to I want to make a women's wallet. And so I've been shopping around for leather in her favorite color cuz I noticed that like she currently has like a card holder and I don't know if she has that because like you know, she prefers something small or if she just like thinks it's cute or whatever. I do want to make her a wallet. I want to make everybody something, but I also don't take commissions because, <laughs> my God, holy shit, the amount of hours, the amount of hours that I've spent on like this thing that's not a commission, it's just I'm doing it. I wanted to make somebody a custom wallet. Holy shit. I think in the future I'm not, yeah, I don't think I could do custom work. Unless, like, it's... Because I don't know if Reaper's still here. Like, I just, like, the hourly rate is just, like, it's dumb. It's dumb. It really is. That's why I can't... That's why I just want to say no, because, like, it's just... It's a dumb... It's a dumb number. You know? And it's not just the hourly rate, but it's also, like, the amount of hours that go into each project anyway, right? Like if it takes four hours for me to like work out all the uh the patterns for the custom work, uh, that's like before we even make anything. There's like several hundred dollars in labor there, right? So I don't know, and it's not something that I can like reproduce and put onto a storefront. Like it's not. I think it would be different if I could find myself like doing that, right? Be like, yeah, yeah, this is this type of wall. But like, I can't personally or rather openly sell product of IP I don't own any rights to. You know what I mean? So it has to be like a one and done, delete the file type deal. Oh no, Tofu, did you already get your butt pills? That reminds me. So I haven't seen everything, everywhere, everywhere, everything all at once? Or is it everything, everywhere, all at once? I haven't seen it. But I did see that Jamie Lee Curtis won an Oscar for it. Which is weird, because she's not... Well, I guess, I guess like 17 people won Oscars for everything, everywhere, all at once. And she like put it next to her butt plug award for it. Or something she has like a an award that's shaped like a butt plug i think it's a prop from the film but still she put it next to her butt plug it's like yes that's very good and that film is winning like every every award hey what's up mirage feeling better now that <laughs> yes that fucking thing ugh uh, 
Mirage during stream earlier today protected my virginity by defeating this this horrible monster that looked like my ex and the things that she keeps saying are my children. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm glad you fucking murdered that thing. Because I was a little worried, you know, that cat girl seemed to be having a bit of an issue with that thing. Where's my lighter? You do all your post-stream care? Uh-oh. I'm still, like, kind of beside myself with the amount of work that they have to do, like, basically fix your place, you know? Ah, uh, My god. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that she was in that movie either. I thought it was all, like, Asian peoples, you know? Even, like, wildly, the kid who played Short Round in, 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 uh, in, in, in Indiana Jones, right? You know? Although, like, and he got, he got an, uh, he got an Oscar. He got an Oscar, you know? Everybody attached to that film got an Oscar. Um... Jamie Lee Curtis, though, probably, like, deserved one a long time ago for something else, but, like, now they're finally giving her one. She's a, she's a great actress. And, you know, and this is the first time that an Asian person won an Oscar, right? And I think, uh, what was it, they, they, uh, Halle Berry actually gave her a hug because she's, like, the only black woman to ever win an Oscar, you know? And that happened, like, the same year, and that was, I remember we were talking about it in one of my classes. It was like the same year. It was like the year after 9-11. You know? And he had like a, a point to say like, you know, this is essentially like the Oscars is more of a political thing. And that people, when they win like an Oscar, it's more of like a, you know, like we accept you now type deal. Not so much a, we think you're a good actor. Because it was, it was Haley Berry and Denzel Washington who both won Oscars that year. And Denzel won it for, like, Training Day. And it's like, Denzel has been in much better roles than Training Day, okay? You can't just give it to him for, like... It's not... It, I can't... I'm not going to say it's one of his worst roles. It's a good role. But, like, he's been in much better stuff prior to that. So it was more like a political thing at this point. You know? All right, Mirage will be here. And the same thing for Halle Berry. I think she won it for, like, Monsters Ball? That movie where she basically is just, like, fucking a racist guy. Um, okay, so I'm going to go the outer rim of this. Starring her and, like, what's his fucking face? Billy Joel. Billy Bob Thornton. That's it. Billy Joel. What's wrong with me? But yeah, now that it's won, like, all these awards, this is like, uh, I probably should watch it. I probably should have watched it before. You know, in solidarity of my of my Asian brothers, brothers and sisters. I was about to say brethren, and then I was like, breth brothers? Brothers. Brothers and sisters. This, but apparently, all star cast, absolutely fantastic movie. Was a mistake to not watch it. My buddy was telling me like it was on streaming for free for like the longest time, like on Hulu or something, and he didn't want to watch it because it was like I'll, I'll I'll watch it eventually, you know. And then like now that it's like gotten all these awards, he can't just watch it for free. They want to charge him, and it's just like cool. Cool. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. It's got like all this Oscar buzz around it. So of course they're gonna try to like make their bread now. And plus, like, people are actually wanting to watch it now that like there's Oscar buzz around it, you know? So like I'm not surprised that whatever streaming service wants to make money off of it. You know what I mean? It sucks, but it is what it is. 
Let me check this message. What time is it? 5.30. 5.30. Used. A friend of mine just told me she got a used copy of Stardew Valley for $33. I found something green to wear, by the way. This is green. I know it looks weird, but it's green. It's green. It's my Zaku shirt. It's named after, um, you know, the main character of Saved by the Bell, Zach Morris. Zaku Morris. You imagine. Uh, my friend bought Stardew Valley for like $32. And it's just like, isn't it only digital? She said she bought it used. I'm like, isn't that only digital? Like, how did you do that? And she's like, I, I bought it for my Switch. Um, but it sucks without mods. And it's like, it's like $15 on Steam right now. She's like, I have it on Steam. It's like, you have it on Steam. Why would you buy it again? Why? I don't understand this, ladies and gentlemen. Some people buy a game that they already own. I shouldn't do this. I should just sand that off. Nope. Rewarded. Okay. Some people buy games that they already own. Why? 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 Tell me why. Just a little bit. Like, I try not to do that. In fact, if I could, I would return the physical copy of Slay the Spire that I own, because I have two digital copies now. But I can't. I'm stuck. And, like, they gave me those digital copies for free after I bought it. Cool. Thank you. Um, you know, I'm not going to say no thank you. I'm not going to tell them to fuck off and take it back. I'll add the digital copies to my accounts, but still, it's fucking hell, man. Oh, God. How many copies of Portal do you own? Can't you only own, like, one copy of that? Because it was only on... Oh, no, it's not only on Steam. There's on There's a PS2 version. And there's the, the yellow box, or the orange box, right? God. The orange box, that's what it was, which was like uh, released on both PS2 and Xbox. So never mind, right? You know, I think that we as consumers are being absolutely fucking idiots. Uh, okay. So there's that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch down the side of here, but only down the side of there. Um. And then we're going to glue this to this at this point here. We're using this as the dimension, which means that after we glue that down there, we actually trim off these edges. So this looks a little bit more even. Okay. Well, we'll see how far we get, because I'm not going to finish this today, right? Three times dead by day. Jesus Christ. Six times for Minecraft. You people are insane. I didn't even buy um, Dead by Daylight. They just gave it to me. You guys are crazy. You, you guys are crazy. I thought I was weird. That time that I received a copy. No, not received. But that time that I um got... What was it? Final Fantasy Origins? One of the Final Fantasy games got like released as like a two-pack. It was like five and six for the PlayStation. And so I thought I was crazy for getting that. 
You know? I did. Because I had six, and I played the cartridge on s for six so much. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. That was going to be nice weather, though. My wing divider. Tomorrow's gonna be really nice weather. So let's see. I think I dimensioned for uh got a few messages here actually. Oh no, those aren't messages. I think I dimensioned for uh an eighth of an inch, but let me double check my my files. I think this is an eighth. I opened up the wrong fucking thing. I opened up Magic Arena. Because everything on my account fucking thing's got an A. Sorry. Exit. Yeah. There's AutoCAD. There's Adobe Illustrator. There's Magic Arena. Everything's a goddamn A. Except for my report cards, obviously. You didn't have your physical copy of Mario Kart, so you had to buy it again? Jesus Christ. I would just not play it. I would just be like, "Hey, do you have split? Does he have a? Does he have it on Switch?" I'd be like, "Can we play this on split screen?" Um, if he says no, then you know he's not the one. <laughs> I'm kidding. Or am I? I'm kidding. Um, let me open up this file. D makes it so hard because you can't share licenses. Uh, and yet we put up with Steam, you know? Steam, Steam. Uh, I'm glad that there's like some. Um, there's some like, you know. Competition out there for Steam. One eighth of an inch. Okay. And double check, make sure that that's an eighth of an inch. I never actually checked these. Okay, so that's a quarter. It's gotta be an eighth. An eighth, all right. Oh, but that cuts into their bottom line, so I don't think they'll, they'll ever allow that, right? That's the main issue. If something cuts into their bottom line, I don't think they'll allow it. Fucking hell. Come on. So my problem is that this leather is so soft. That it's making it real hard. To like. Draw these lines across. Okay. Sorry, I had to be double. I had to be sure that this is the right thing here. Okay. All right. So from there, I want to open this to a one sixth, just in case. I'm sorry, not one sixth, one quarter. Exactly, Tofu gets it. To um, Steam just trying to get their bread. I don't agree with it. You know? And, and I feel like this is the reason why some people feel like they should be allowed to just pirate stuff, you know? But, um... Just a guideline for now. We're not going to take that one into account just yet. I'm just making these guidelines for now. Is 
this gets cut later. So that's just a guideline. It's just a guideline. All right. So there's a few things we got to do here. One is I need to figure out where these go. So that the rest of these make sense. I think those go there. Rather a little bit next to it. I think everything else is dimensioned from there. So, and this is very important that I get these right because we're going to have to dimension everything for the back panel off of there, right? Oh, yeah. That's always nice, right? Like, um, what was it? Um, the, the developers of It Takes Two and, and all the games that they've been doing, they allow you to just go like, oh, yeah, y'all can just play. Y'all could just play together. Invite a friend. We want you to invite a friend. This is what we made this game for. Right? And, and like, I wish more games were like that, right? But they won't let us have nice things. Oops, pardon me. This here. Oh, sorry, feels. Sorry, feels. Where's my stitching chisel? I decided I was going to use here. Okay, so that's here. Come on, don't rip up all the thing. Good. All right, so then we're going to take it to here. Woo! Almost fucking fell. Nice. Oh, that's right. We don't have to go higher than that. Well, we have to go one higher. Oh, we don't have to go higher at all. I'm thinking of the other side. What's wrong with me? Shit. It's a little crooked. Let's fix it here. Okay, we're gonna do that. Let me get the other side. Oh. There's one more above it, so... Where's my single? Hey, hey, what's up, Reapalicious? Oh, no. Reapalicious, thank you, but please, please don't do that. Um, how are you doing? How was your week? Please save your money. Um, we don't need to use that there. I don't need to put these in there. I hope I didn't push too hard to make a permanent mark there. That hole there. There we go. Okay. Ripplicious, thank you, but please save your money. That's, uh, I'm just gonna spend your money on cocaine. That's a joke for legal reasons. That's not for me. It's not for me. This is actually for somebody else. So, haha, -ha, I have defeated your logic with, with, with other logic. This is not for me. This is a gift for somebody else. Um, how did I do it on here? Hold on. Oh shit, that's gonna tear. All right, whoopsie. Oh, that might tear. Eh, it's probably going to tear. Whatever. Got to make it even, too, which sucks. So I got to make it tear here. You know what? It's not going to tear. We're going to be fine. If we're going to be fine. I got to stop being so paranoid. Another thing that I've been told to do. Like, actually press it into the leather like this before you stamp. Completely forgot that I uh, made that like that. There we go. Feels dry gets it. Uh, 
And this is like a gift for somebody. And like, watch, they'll be like, oh, I don't even carry money around anymore. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I half expect that too. Can you imagine? Yeah, sorry. Well, you know, you ever want like to put something in your back pocket? Don't put it in your back pocket, actually. Guys, if you have a wallet, don't put it in your back pocket. It's not good for your posture, actually. When you sit, it makes your butt like like lopsided and it it can do damage over time. So yeah, wallet always the front pocket. Okay, so I was gonna do contrasting thread for this, but I think I think the gray would probably look good here. Oh wait, I forgot one more hole up there. Everything fell. That's very good. So yeah, Reap, how's your uh, how's your how's your week been? Any plans for the weekend? That goes there. I think I could just push this through, but yeah, let's not try that. Perfect. Single bop. Single bop. From Kids Bop. Single. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking about doing this because I think this will also look good against this as well, right? Where's the other thread? I should. Do this so that I don't lose. So that this doesn't unravel itself. Where are you? Design digital wallets to sell like NFTs. Damn, it feels. You are supposed to bring balance to the force. Not leave it in darkness. You cut the backs. Uh that's you cut out the insides of your back pockets. <laughs> ah, so none. Oh, I've never used this one before. So none. Da. Mochiron da yo. <laughs> Damn it, feels. It isn't long enough. It should be long enough. Go a little bit longer just in case and snip. That point there, and then this point is here. So also feels I haven't completely forgotten about the cuff thing. I just I need to I need to redesign so that I can use um buckles and then I have to find buckles. I know where to order buckles from. It's just oh god, the shipping. Ah, uh, Shipping sucks. Shipping sucks. Um, so I don't want to order like two. And then pay like $8 shipping on like $4 worth of product or whatever that is. Or, or probably $7 actually. I actually have to look at sizes first. Sizes is important. Because I would like to iterate on the cuff. Not like to. I refuse to make one that's worse or to the same um quality as the previous one because the previous one i actually don't like the fact that like it's snap buttons in retrospect like i i didn't think about that i just wanted to finish it but because it's snap buttons when i'm outside I, I worry that it'll fall off it's held so far but like it's just like it's a concern you know ah shit don't be like this ah shit ah balls Okay, well, let's cut that then, because that ain't working. I don't know how that happened, but it ain't working. Give, give me that, give me that. There we go. Listen, ain't nothing wrong with the Sith, okay? 
The movies are propaganda, trying to make it look like the Sith are bad. I don't think the Sith are bad at all. I think it's the Jedis who are evil. Yeah. No, but, like, that, like, it's, so, for a movie, like, it makes sense for them to have, like, such a line drawn in the sand, dogmatic approach to good and evil. But, like, outside of that, it's just, like, you know, like, wait a minute, y'all, y'all don't want to, like, bust? Uh, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. Y'all, no wonder you're all so repressed, because you're so repressed. This is why religion's bad, actually. Or why some religion is bad. You know? Like, if you're just spending all your time out there going like, Hey, do this, otherwise you're going to heck. And it's like, well, I don't actually care about what you say is heck. Like, no, you gotta, we're changing the laws now, fuck you. Like, don't tell me what to do based on, like, your weird book. You know? Like, I like a book too. It's called Green Lantern. But I don't, I don't go to people, I don't go to my congressmen. And, and tell them, like, listen, I want the ring, like, in the Green Lantern comic book, okay? I'm lifting that wholesale off of um, a Patton Oswalt stand-up bit, by the way. I just realized that as I was, like, saying this, it's like, oh yeah, there's a Patton Oswalt bit like this, where he talks about, like, you know, going to your congressman and being like, listen, I want Green Lantern to be real. And it's a book, so you have to make it real. It's weird, right? Like, it's it's not only that, like, they, the Sith let it control them, but, like, it lets... They let it control them to the point where it's just like, oh, yeah, and let me do heinous shit. You know, and it's just like, mm, wasn't there ever like a level-headed Sith who was just like, can can we all just like fuck off? And I know that like that's more along the lines of like what the Gray Jedi are, right? But like, my God, it's just so like, like we have to be at eternal war because you are Sith and we are Jedi, and it's like, mm, I feel like if this were real, um. There've got to be at least one or two uh, Sith who are just sort of like, can can you guys like chillax? I think I got to take it down this way actually. It's sort of a pain because there's less space to grip here. Plenty of level-headed Sith, really. Hmm. I don't talk about them. I guess Dooku was kind of level-headed, like. But I guess that's, I, I give him th that much because he's like an old man who's Saruman, the white. Man, that dude released an album, a metal album. He was a spy um, for his Her Majesty's Secret Service. Fucking, what else? He witnessed the, one of the last um, beheadings in France. You know? Absolutely insane life that dude, Chris, Christopher Lee, led. And then, ultimately, he was just the pawn of Sidious. Because Sidious was like, fucking cut his head off. And Dooku, like, shot, shoots him and look like, the fuck you say? I thought I thought I thought we were on the same side, bro. Bro, what what no, bro. Bro, no, 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 don't don't fuck around like this, bro. Bro, bro. Gets his head cut off because his master tells a teenager to do it. You know. Bro, I thought we were cool, man. <laughs> I thought we were on the same side, bro. Bro, no, bro, bro, no, bro. Bro, no, bro. No, bro. Exactly, right? Like, the whole, like, I'm gonna subjugate the world shit. Well, I mean, like, that was very much... That was very much a, uh... A, a Darth, um... Sidious 
Emperor Palpatine thing, right? He's just like, listen, we're gonna we're gonna do some shit. Um, we're gonna do some space Nazi shit. Cause cause that's what they were into. They were like, let us um, we're gonna subjugate all the people that aren't like us. Like Kashyyyk was subjugated. Kashyyyk is the the the, the planet of the Wookies. The Wookies. The Wookies. You know, the walking carpets. The Chewbacca peoples. Um, they wanted to suppress other religions like Jediism. Jediism. Light Sith. To do good deeds. And they're considered traitors. Oh, that's rude. I don't like that at all. Why would they do that? That's kind of fucked. I'm not surprised. I probably should bring this all the way up, actually. I'm worried that this will stretch out. So I think I am going to actually uh, take this all the way up. There. And I'm glad that I left extra. Where's my hammer? Hammer? All right, Goose, we'll be here. Enjoy dinner. Or else. Oops. Go through. Go through. There we go. A little bit more. Perfect. Hammer in my lap. That's not going to end poorly, right? Um. Hold on. I hate using this thing because it's so tight sometimes. I'd like it to like move more smoothly. But it's so tight. Tight like a toy glue. Um there we go. So that's kind of where we need to be. Which means that this can go... Oh, that's almost perfect. Okay. Well, it is perfect, actually. To the point where I actually want to get the two. And just do the two instead. From that corner to be more precise. Actually, I don't even think I take it up to that corner. Because then we'll have an overlap. Maybe I do. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, my butt. Ah. So. Tighten. Okay. See, we're learning as we're going. We're learning as we're going. There. Tighten. Okay. Pull this through here. Pull this through here. Tight. So this this is just like a single layer of leather. So we don't really have to like worry too much about. It being like super duper, um, well, I guess we do for reasons that are hard to explain, but we don't want to like have loose threads essentially. Man, I feel like the only time I've ever seen a, a gray Jedi in anything was like. Knights of the Old Republic 2. You know? Where that dude who just, like, does not give a shit. Uh oh. That shouldn't have gone through there. Whoopsie. 
uh, ends up joining your party. And then I feel like it's an underused plot point because it's just like, well, can I, am I, am I supposed to become a, a gray Jedi? I don't think anything happens if you go gray, you know? I think his name was like Jody? Or Joe, Joe, Joey? Maybe it's with a J. Sacrifice? No! Why would you sacrifice? I guess you know what. There's no such thing as an innocent life in this law in this world. That's right. That's right. I said it. Time for me to get my Sith crown. Do they have crowns? The reason why we're doing this all the way up to the top is so that I can make sure that this is way more, um, what's it called? Um, stable. Do we do this one? Yeah, we'll do this one. It'll come back. Because there's another thread that's going to be coming through there on the other side. Tighten this. There. Pull that through there. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. It's perfect, damn it. Um, Caesars. 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 Okay. Lighter. Light hair. Ow. Oh, no, John. John, why would you do that to me? You monster. Thank you, John. Hold on. I have to do the thing now, don't I? Ugh, I hate it. I hate it. Why? Do you people hate me or something? I think some of you do. Ah, John, how you feeling, man? Okay, just put that over there. It's 100% bean time. Let me just finish that. Okay. Perfect. He said, not fully believing himself. All right. Um, oh, here they are. John, thank you for subscribing to Dick Record Heavy Industries. You know that that is a mistake, but you know what? I can't stop anybody, apparently. So, let's go to just chatting. <sighs> the little one. Brooklyn? So, you know what happens when somebody spends their horrible money on me. I have to eat one of these terrible things. Um, half? Not half. Each color has two flavors. And one's good, and one's terrible. And we'll find out what we're gonna get. Wait, was she... Did something new happen with her? Oh, Christ. Did something new happen with Brooklyn? Alright, looks like we got liver and onions or ca cappuccino. That's bad. She had a twitch? What do you mean she had a twitch? Oh god. It's liver with onions, by the way. Oh, Jesus Christ. But she's better now. We got the bad one. We got the liver with onions. The worst part about the liver with onions being, by the way, is that I'm going to taste it for the rest of the day. Every time I burp. Oh. It was a prime sub. You know what? That's the that's the most correct way to support to support Dick Record Heavy Industries because you're just scooping money out of Jeff Bezos' moo wallet. So thank you. Thank you. Um, let's go back to Workspace Stream. So, so wait... Oh, God damn it, I dropped my wallet. 
I mean, not my wallet, my, um, my lighter. Uh, God damn it. She's an old girl. You know what I mean? Like, ah, uh, so it's just gonna, it's just gonna happen. Right. But she's also a very sweet girl from what I understand from both, um, what you and, um, Ashley tell me still though, like my God, she's such a, she's an old, old baby. You guys are saints for putting up with it too. Cause like, holy shit, it's a lot of work. I'm going to say that right now. Was it that bad? Oh shit. Um, not, not thrilled to hear that actually. I'm going to say that right now because, like, it's regardless of whether or not, like, you think you're ready, you know, it's still going to hurt, right? Um, It's still going to hurt. So, you know, just try to, you got to try to, like, you know, keep her happy for the time that she is here. A uh, little, little pain in the butt fur baby. And, um, let her know, hey, tell her you love her, you know, every day, make sure she knows. Does Ashley want to keep trying to resuscitate? Because regardless of who it is, right, that's not a fun conversation, right? Like. It could be grandpa, it could be the cat. It's not a fun conversation to have to go like, listen, do you want them to be under this, you know, for, for longer than they have to be? I know it's not a fun conversation. So. <sighs> Poor little thing. She's got a good life, though, with you guys. I think she understands, too. And if she doesn't, you gotta go, listen, you spoiled little shit. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> At the vet, and it was hard. Yeah, there's going to be certain things that like, they're going to be hard to see, right? I, uh, I remember when Bobby was like, you know, on his way out, we, we, we took him to the vet that day. I'd been pushing my mom to, 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 you know, make a, an appointment earlier, but you know, she was dragging her feet and I was just like, listen, I'll pay for it if it's, if it's the money and she's just like, eh, well, whatever, you know, but like, I think that she was like, kind of like. You know, like expecting it to happen any day, and just I I don't know what she was ex like expecting, expecting, but like I think she was expecting it to just happen. And fucking what was it? Um, the day that it that we went there, he he he, the vet was like he's he's checking out right now, you know. Um, but I I was like hopeful the entire way there. I was just like they're gonna. They're going to give him a shot of, like, adrenaline and steroids, and he'll be fine. And my mom's like, oh, they'll probably have to, like, you know, keep him there for observation. And, like, hook him up to an IV. And I'm just like, oh. But the, the, the thing was, like, you know, when the vet said, like, you know, he's checking out. He's not going to make it through the night. Um, and then she gave me that option of, of, of putting him on, you know, the overnight care and everything. I, I honestly was like, well, if we know that he's going, I, I want to take him home so that he could die at home. And she was like, no, we can't do that. I don't want him to, I don't want to carry him back here stiff. And I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> fine. All right. You got me. And when I went to go pick him up after the cremation. There was an older couple that was dropping theirs off after he'd passed in like a bag. And I was like, shit. Man. It's 
So yeah, kind of dodged a bullet there. Uh, in a way. Trying not to think about it right now, because uh, it's rough. He's very rough. Hold on. I got it. I still wish that we could have had him here, you know, but, um, seeing that was like, holy shit, you know, it were, and my mom, like, explained to me that she'd been through something like that before where, um, fuck it, what was it? She had this, she had this tiny little dog, you know, this is before I was born, she had this tiny little dog, and they were in the lobby of her apartment building, and this giant dog was, like, getting off the elevator with its 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 handler and fucking that giant dog saw her tiny dog and thought it was a toy grabbed it by the neck and shook it so hard that it killed it um like the handler could not control the giant dog you know and i i think that that handler knew like i think it was it was, it was the dog's owner they they took full responsibility they paid for everything and everything but like on the way to the the animal hospital like the thing had gone stiff already it's like holy shit um so she had like a little bit of ptsd regarding it and it's like all right i mean i get it i get it all right you know so <sighs> Still though, yeah, it's it's gonna. Uh, I mean, she's an old girl, you know, and I know that Ashley understands that. So, huh? I think I go down actually, but you know, it's always especially with the loved one saying like no, right? That's always hard. God damn though. That old codger's been around for 17 years. You imagine. I've seen videos of like elderly people like at like their 90 something. Uh, it was this, uh, this old woman. It was like her 90 something birthday. And somebody goes, "And here's to many more." And she responds with, "I hope not." <laughs> And it's just like, ah, shit. <laughs> Someone's over it. Someone's like, please, let's let me go. <laughs> you know? I thought that was funny. <sighs> let's see. I think I'm only going to finish these two panels today, and then we'll switch over to, like, Bioshock. Because, one, I'm getting stiff. Two, I'd like a snack. Three... I don't want to, I, I know I'm not going to make the whole thing today, and I don't want to lock myself into doing that, because last time, that's what I did, and I got real tired and stiff, and it was a mistake to do so, so. You know. Uh, come on. Hey, you know, these holes are supposed to be big enough. Get through there. Part of me is like, I should just get the John James needles, but these needles work fine. And I don't think that the John James needles will be that much better. You know, John James is a, a needle maker in England. They make like these almost nine destructible needles. They're blunt pointed, so you don't have to worry about stabbing yourself. But also they're like supposed to be like the best, the best for uh, leather working. So I just don't want to like get them now. You know what I mean? Because I have needles. Although a few of these have like snapped in the middle of projects and it's just like, uh We'll put that in the uh, eventually column, right?
I'm not going to pull this one too tight because this one is this one. If I do pull it too tight, it's going to look weird. I learned that from that side. We'll pull this one tight though. All right. Let's see. I do need to finish these edges. I might do that off stream. I've no I've learned that uh doing edge work is kind of like I I like watching it you know pan out and everything and how everything just kind of looks correct in the end. But um I feel like it's probably very boring for everybody. You know. Like finished edge work, I should say. Because it's a lot of sanding. It's a lot of um burnishing and it's doing like a few layers of uh, different materials. We got the uh the black edge dressing. I mm, I don't know, man. Star Wars goes on forever. Uh we'll be here. We'll be here, feels. Star Wars goes on forever. Plus, you know. Well, hmm. I can't say that the creator of Star Wars isn't a turf, right? I don't know if he's a turf. I know he's a fucking weirdo. I'll tell you that much right now for true. I hope he's not a turf. Um, <laughs> but also, like, my God. George Lucas is such a weirdo. Ah. Uh. I finish this and then I gotta blow my nose actually. And then check my messages. My date told me she's not wearing green today. I have to pinch her now. Yeah, I told you I'll do it tomorrow. Where we have no stream. I gotta do some makeup streams or something. Like, maybe I'll start streaming Sunday. I don't know. Because I want to get, like, the weekend days in, you know? I think the more people are around for the weekends, right? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, do this. There, almost done, almost done. I've been listening to a lot of the near Automata soundtrack, and I, I, I told you guys right, like that's the first. I think the first game that like really made me feel bummed out about like a character death. I'm not gonna say who, because some of y'all haven't played it, and I think it's highly worth. Um, visiting um if you haven't played it it's such a good game i don't know about the series itself but like it it by itself is like such a good game um it has given birth to like a a, a widely a wildly horny fan base though so make up that what you want incredibly horny just so so super horny just the most horned up fan and you know what and it's because of the character designs that's just it is what it is and it was My little fur ball's just sleeping there. I think I think that's all we're gonna do today. 
little fur balls just sleep in there. Not a care in the world. A good girl. She is a good girl. Pain in the butt, though. Good, good girl. I put some of this stuff away. I'll put all of it away, actually. Um. Yeah, so these stitching chisels are much better than the original ones that I got. Which I do have to sand down to get rid of the paint that's covering them, because that ain't good for anybody. And I'll put this aside. We'll probably come back to it on Monday. Hopefully I'll finish it up then. But if I don't, well, it's a fucking wallet. You know? How long have you been working on it? Almost three hours. Okay. I wanted to start earlier today, so... A little, little upset with myself that we ended up starting so late. I don't know about you guys. But, uh... Daylight savings is really effing me. So... I hate daylight savings. And I hate the other one. Because it's just, it's just us correcting for daylight savings. It's just like... That's not... It's not fixing anything. Oh, you got an extra hour of sleep. Yeah, but we had to pay out the ass six months ago. Welcome back, Feels. I'm ranting about daylight savings. I'm sorry. Ah. Yeah, I've been sitting funny, so my ass is hurting. Let me close this before I do anything. I gotta get into a habit of like closing things. So I don't like hurt myself. We really should. Like it's it's just bad, right? Like there's no logical reason to keep it. Right? Every reason to keep it has just been like that's stupid. That's stupid. Like, oh, it's so that there's more daylight hours. Well, how about we just reduce the uh the work day to like six hours? No? No? Fuck you then. Where's the other one? There it is. We're gonna switch over after I pack everything away. We're gonna switch over to uh, Bioshock 2. I'll have to play some of that today. I don't know at what point I stopped playing it originally. So, there's that. Oh, and then there's the DLC for Bioshock 2, which I have never even touched. I gotta play that. Um, I also have to play the DLC for... Grand Theft Auto 3. 4. Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, 3 has no DLC. Was it made to save on candles? Because if that's the real reason, that's even worse. That's even worse than like, oh, it's so that the farmers have more daylight. Or something stupid like that. Not that that actually matters to them, because the farmers will just wake up whenever the fuck they need to. They don't give a shit. Farmers are made of something else, man. I don't got it in me to be a farmer. These hands were not made for that kind of hard labor. Neither was the rest of my ass. Like, I, even though I, I do feel like everybody needs to do something, you know, like laborious with their hands, I just, like, there's limits. There's limits, you know? There's limits! Uh, let's see. But if it was made to save it, you know what? I don't... Even though I don't know the energy meta back then for why they would want to save on candles, you know what I do know? Fuck candles. Candles are for nerds. You go to your weird Yankee candle workshop without me. I don't give a shit. Uh... Toss that in there. Alright, so we finished this much, right? 
cut these parts out. So we just have a lot of stitching ahead of us, right? We have our two panels. These will get glued on the side here and here around the edges. Wait, I should be actually showing this on camera. So the next part is we're going to glue these along the edges over here. We're going to stitch it down both sides, right? We're going to flip this over. There's going to be a little bit of overlap. It's designed like that. Um, the overlap is, is built in, right? So that, um, Christ, Christ, get off of there, get off of there, get off of there. Um, I can make sure that these edges match this thing. And then from there, this piece is a little bit big. So I, what, what I have to do is, um, chisel the holes along the edge of this and then make sure that they match the opposite side of this. Right. And then I'm going to groove this for the holes. Am I going to groove it? No, I think it's too complicated. And we're going to stitch it on one side and then we're, it's going to fold over a little bit because this, in order for this to fit in here, has to fold out, has to be a little bit smaller. Right. That's a little bit too snug. Whatever. Nobody uses bills anymore anyway. We'll do that all next time on Dragon Ball Z. But that'll involve um, stitching all the way around, actually. Oh, yeah. So this part actually has to get stitched here along the top. These get glued down, get stitched along the top. Um, I trim off the edges. Then I do the outside stitch to here. We don't meet in the middle. And so that'll create like this pocket here, pocket here, um, card pocket here, card pocket here, card pocket here, card pocket here. Let me make sure that those card pockets work. Hey, what's up, cheese? How you doing, dude? Let me make sure these card pockets work. Okay. This blue leather feels a lot more supple, which is nice, you know. The world ran on candles. Yeah. No, that's why I'm saying like I don't I don't know the meta back then. But still, fuck candles, man. It's good pre-electric houses. Ugh. I hate those times. I'm glad I don't have to live them. Can you imagine? Can you imagine not having Xbox, guys? <laughs> fuck, kidding. Um, back in my day, there was no Microsoft console. All right, so that kind of works. All right. So we'll continue with this wallet Monday, but I'm going to be switching over to, um, burr, 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 burr. oh God, and take a break, right? I'm going to switch over to Bioshock. Um, I'm going to clean up here. I'm going to have a snack, snack, snack. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, I think that's it. So I'll be back. I promise I shall return momentarily. I think this is already coming out better than the last wallet. Um, there's a bigger gap between these two pockets than the original one. The gap was too small, so I was having issues like reaching in here and I was worried about snapping cards. I mean, these pockets could be for anything, right? But like some people do just put cards in there. It's got to be for literally anything you could put in there. Um, although I don't recommend storing condoms in a wallet simply because, listen, it's not good for the condoms. All right. Just learn to pull out better. That's all. I'm kidding. That's a joke. That is a joke. Don't just pull out. Use proper contraceptives. All right. So I'll be right back. Um, actually, I should make a image like this. Make it look like this so that I have a, a good um, image for the, the thumbnail for the, the YouTube. Because the YouTube wants the thumbnails. It's more comical than ever, ever. Hold on. And then, and then, and then I got to Photoshop the eyes to be like super big and the mouth to be super big so that it's like creepy and, and hard to look at. There we go. Um, I didn't hold it long enough cause I don't really actually want to plan on doing that, but, um, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is going, coming out pretty good though. I, I like how this is coming out. I still don't know if I want to do another custom anything i'll be perfectly honest oh god custom work sucks either that or it's it's more fun than i than i know and i'm just 
not realizing it because there's something wrong with my brain. Either way, I shall return momentarily. Oh, and I got to take care of like 700 shoutouts. So let me clean up. I'll probably be back in like 20, 15, 20 minutes, right? Sounds good. Sounds good. We all agree. 